Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about polymorphism. Now this is probably one of the uh, scariest terms in programming, but it's actually very simple and we'll be learning about it in this tutorial. So come down here and let's do it right before the form one load sub. We'll just create a method or a sub. So private sub show car info and now what we want to do is we want to pass a car uh, to the sub that we're creating so we'll just call it argument car as car or we'll do as all cars we have to specify the namespace dot car and we'll go ahead and hit enter now the reason we have to specify the namespace is because that it is outside of the namespace that is used for our project. Now if we didn't have this nested inside of a namespace um, then we wouldn't have to specify that but since we do um, we're going to have to specify it. So whatever, whenever they pass the car to this method let's go ahead and show the info of it. So we'll type argcar dot to string. We'll go ahead and minimize that Let's come down here to button show car info and we will type um, show car info and we will pass default car to that. Now up here this is not going to do anything for us so we need to show that in a message box. So message box dot show and we're going to convert that to a string and we'll just set the title to info. We'll go ahead and close that off. Okay, so now that we've shown uh, the car info, let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. Now let's go ahead and click show info. We haven't set the name, so we get the car name, we get the color red, the number of doors five, and the car speed is equal to zero. Now this all works as expected because we passed a car object to this. It is called the to string function uh, that is inside of this class right here which returns all of the info we need uh, about our car. Now let's go ahead and come to show car info and instead of showing default car let's show default sports car. Now we'll go ahead and run this. Now let's set the name of our sports car to Mustang GT500. Go ahead and click OK. We'll set the color to black doors is 2. We will accelerate it to 80 miles per hour. We can look at the power to weight ratio um, which is default because we set that when form 1 loads. And now if we show info you can see that we get the name Mustang GT500, uh, the car color is black, the number of doors is 2, and the car speed is 80. Now you might, you might be wondering to yourself why does this work? Well Polymorphism basically means that you can create, uh, not create, that you can um, use uh, uh, use one type as a, another type. So if you have an object, um, arg car right here, or the object that you pass to it, default sports car, that can be treated as a car object because default sports car, um, the object that it has, the class it comes from, inherits from car. Now. Polymorphism, it comes from the Greek word, and it means uh, many forms. Now, you can, you could uh, pass a sports car to this and have it uh, be used like a car, but you cannot um, put sports car right here and pass a car to it because um, the car, car does not inherit from sports car. So, Whatever sports car has in it, um, car will not be able to use it. So any stuff that you have uh, defined yourself in sports car is not available to car because it does not inherit it from sports car. So I hope that gives you guys a basic understanding of polymorphism. It's a quite simple concept, and once you've used it a couple times, uh, you will get used to it. So we'll just go ahead and do this one more time. We can show the info and you can see that we get all of the stuff we need and we don't get any errors even though we passed a sports car 
uh, object to a, uh, a method that uses a car argument. So go ahead, type this code in if you haven't. Practice a little bit with polymorphism. Uh, you can create uh, classes, parent classes and subclasses. And um, once you got that down, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.